Right guys, in today's video, I'll show you the new best settings for a GTX 1650 laptop because The Last of Us, the latest update, it's not a, the best update but it wasn't bad in terms of it's made low, the low settings look better as well as making the medium settings look better. But guys, um, I'm currently on the low preset and you'll see that the FPS isn't bad. Uh, I am using GeForce Experience to record, so I'm losing a couple of FPS here and there. So you can expect on the low settings preset, you can probably expect to get in the region of 60 odd with the drop uh, with drops down to about 40. Because as I mentioned, I am losing about two FPS. But the thing is, it looks horrible. So they have improved the textures for low settings and medium settings. So this is very um, unfortunately. My previous settings where you cap your FPS to 30 and then use a majority of high settings, unfortunately that is not preferable anymore because the game is much heavier now. So the current settings I would recommend are as follows. You go to options and then just as mentioned in display, uh, I'm playing at 1080p with AMD FSR set to quality. I don't use the in-game um, sharpening. I'll show you just now, I actually used the NVIDIA control panel for sharpening. And then in graphics, what I do is, here we go, go to graphics. So I am using the low settings preset, but as mentioned, they've made the low set or low graphics preset look a little bit better. So just to make that look a little bit nicer, what I got to is geometry settings, dynamic objects level detail. I set that to medium. Characters level, level detail, set that to medium as well. And then under textures, environment texture quality, set that to medium. And characters texture quality, also set that to medium. And then we go to anisotropic, leave everything else low. And then anisotropic filtering set, put on 16. Lighting, lighting settings, ambient shadow is quality. As you can see with it off, it doesn't look great. And, and when we switch it, oh wait, so with it off it doesn't look great and you just put that on to quarter resolution. Image based lighting, with it off looks terrible, with it on looks better. Leave these at low, balanced lighting, you can see there's quite a visual improvement when you switch it on. And then leave everything else here, screen space shadows quality, off it looks very flat and then you put it on low already there's a visual improvement. Dynamic screen space shadows looks so much nicer on. As you can see, it just makes things pop a little bit. Contact shadow quality off looks very crap. On looks or on low looks a ton better already and doesn't really affect performance. Screen space ambient occlusion. This one you definitely put it on because on the low setting it's off by default and doesn't look that great as you can see. And we put it on already, there's a big visual improvement. Ambient occlusion, the noise quality, put it on low. Screen space, directional occlusion, off, doesn't look great. On looks, makes it look a little bit nicer. And then screen space, cone tracking, it's just shadows uh, that are caught at different angles. Off, that's off and on, it just makes things look a little, give a little bit more depth. And then what you do is you skip shading settings, you skip reflection settings because those smash your CPU. Post effect settings, just leave that. Visual effect settings, you can put lens flares from off to on. It makes it look much nicer. And then miscellaneous settings, just leave it. These impact your CPU and aren't great. So then just go apply settings. And as you can see, there's already quite a big visual up upliftment but what you're going to notice is your FPS is going to go from 40, 50, sometimes even 60 on these settings but when, when you get into CPU heavy uh, areas such as this and I specifically <coughs> chose this setting because when you're looking between the buildings there's a lot going on and it is very CPU heavy so this just goes to show you can use those settings but if you don't cap your FPS, you're going to go from 50, 60 FPS down into the 30s. That's why I think 
capping at 40 fps using these settings makes so much more sense because your gameplay is just going to be so much smoother so i'm just going to boot into windows or i'm just going to go out into windows i'm going to show you the settings i use right so what you're going to want to do on the desktop is just open up your video control panel and then uh just going to manage cd settings and then program settings and then just find your the last of us uh executable file and then under image sharpening because the in-game sharpener looks so shit um under image sharpening just put it on sharpen 0 0.5 ignore form gram 00, 00 whatever and then just hit apply i've already done it so i don't need to do it and then other than that just open up rivertuna statistics and then I'll just delete this and then you just go add and then find your last of us executable and then just pop it over to 40 so what you're going to be doing now is capping our FPS to 40 there we go now the last of us is capped to 40 so now after we've applied those settings you're going to notice that everything looks a little bit sharper and also the game's running at 40 FPS which isn't super fantastic but you'll notice at least the gameplay is smooth now and even once we hit uh, cpu heavy sections the biggest variation you're going to get in cpu is maybe maximum four fps drop but your gameplay is going to feel so much smoother and previously i had uh, a setting where we use mostly high settings and cap your fps to 30 which was great because the game looked a lot nicer but 30 fps sucks so playing on 40 fps with slightly worse looking settings but the game feels a lot smoother and they've improved the visuals on the lower settings so guys you can't go wrong with these settings and i've tested in a lot of different cpu heavy settings such as this also towards the end of the game when you're walking with um with ellie on the bridge it's a very cpu heavy setting there also you get maximum five fps drop but in all other scenes guys you're gonna get a smooth 40 fps if you use these settings anyways thank you so much for watching if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed, now's the time to do so. Other than that, guys, have a fantastic weekend. It's people like you. Cheers.